back guys welcome back to the channel today we got a little project to do we're gonna try to fix the deer feeder here the uh winches they give me fits for uh, pretty much ever since i moved it over here it's uh just kind of worn out cables all kind of rusted up and then the little release cable here it's just kind of the springs giving out so it's just kind of a pain to mess with so went on amazon bought me a little new hand winch here so i'll link it in the description below what it is but it's a 800 pound uh, capacity it's got a 26 foot long cable which is way too much but it's not going to hurt anything so anyway let me put you guys up here and we'll try to figure out what we got to do to start taking this thing off there so then we'll go from there start by trying to get all this cable off here so let's get this feeder out of our way looks like they just looped it looped it in on this one Good part. So it's a half inch socket on this particular one. It wasn't near as bad as I thought it was going to be. These things are been on here for a long time. I bought this feeder from a co-worker. Golly, probably 10 plus years ago. I sit over at my buddy's house over on his property for a long time. And then after we, we bought this acreage, we moved it over here. So then it, obviously it sits out the words the entire time. So. save these bolts because I don't know I haven't even opened the box yet to see what's in the other one So here's the, like I said, I'll link this down below, but it's just a hand winch I got off Amazon. You get your handle. And the winch. <laughs> I guess that's it. I'm going to mount this the same way the other one was. So I think we'll mount this on the pole and after we do that then we'll uh I gotta run it up there through the I've gotta run it up there through that eye 
after that, so I may have to go back to the house and get a ladder. I'm not sure I can reach that from the four wheeler. I'm kind of vertically challenged, so. Well, if this steel cable part goes as easy as this, it's going to be awesome. But I would imagine that's going to be the difficult part. So. So apparently I should have put that bolt in there first. Well, no, I couldn't have. This cable would have been in the way. Pop this off. Slide that in there. So let's figure out how we're going to run that cable up there and then we'll be home stretch. That's going to pin up if I can get lucky enough to hold that cable and thread it through there or not. Let's see. I'm going to get lucky. No, we'll go to the house and grab a ladder. Ha! We got it. itself back on
Well, this was easy enough. I should have done this two months ago. I hadn't been feeding hogs because I didn't want to crank up 250 plus pounds of feed up there. Then that cable break and come down and tear up my feeder or hurt an animal. Let me go grab a bag of corn. I'll be right back with you. Ah, we're just gonna throw one bag in there for now. Obviously, I want to test it before I uh, drop the entire thing on the ground because I messed something up. So <laughs> let's start there. This lid just goes on, I'm sure the seal comes up on it. First right there. You got a little chain and a hook on each side of this. Let's get a little slack in this. So I always try to keep the, that's a stone pound down here, so I try to keep it facing down so it doesn't catch the sun. Like we're back in business. Back this up so I can show you guys this feeder a little bit. So what they did was when they built it, it's got this three, I think that's two by two, red iron, and then they just went up to the top there and welded uh, pegs that come out, and then your legs just slide over the over the pegs to seat it, and then they've got a pulley right at the base that way it runs all the way down here to the cable. And that's it but works real good so if you guys ever want to build something like that then those are great feeders i know they use them in texas a lot something big down there so but it's pretty pretty good for even the hogs and stuff i've never had it have it pushed over or anything so i'm not saying they can't but never happened to me so anyway i appreciate you guys watching this one i'm gonna head on back to the house and hopefully the next video will be some bow fishing we're gonna try to get out. It's supposed to be silly windy for the next next week out here, I think. So um, I don't know if it'll pan out where we can go or not. But we're gonna try to do that. So hopefully we'll have that on the next video. So thanks for watching Hunt Fish Okie. We'll see you next time.